Hey there YouTube. Uh, today I'm making a video about the freezing or burst point of winter ease RV and marine antifreeze. So I put this stuff in my freshwater tank and I ran it through the pump and uh, left the faucets on until it was coming out pink and I collected some of the liquid into a container to see if it was going to freeze my pipes. And I was actually shocked because it actually did freeze. Now it didn't freeze hard, it's more of a slush, but I'm still a little worried. So uh, I researched online and they said that this stuff is actually supposed to freeze unless you get the really good stuff which has a different freezing point. Uh, for example, this one was formulated for complete protection to negative 50. So yeah, I researched and they said this won't burst your pipes but it will freeze. So I'm going to test it. I got two mason jars here. The exact same size and brand and everything. And I'm going to fill one up with normal tap water and I'm going to fill the other one up with this pink stuff. Alright, so I filled it up until the point that the surface tension is basically the only thing holding that from spilling. When I put pressure on the cap spurred a little bit out. It was so full. So I'm going to do the same exact thing with the water. Alright, that is sealed pretty good. Alright, now that is just as full. Alright, put that on there. Spill a little out there. Just as with the other one. I'll put this lid on. Okay. Clarify, neither is leaking. I'm going to put them both in a plastic bag. So I don't have to clean up the mess. Alright, 16-ish degrees, 17-ish degrees. Sounds good. So I'm out of glass containers, but I also want to try mixing 50-50 and uh, having a pure one and having a water one in a plastic container that doesn't seal uh, tightly. Now, my theory is the glass jar isn't necessarily going to break because it's pretty strong, even probably with the water. But these plastic containers are much weaker, and if it freezes enough to expand with any significant effect, it'll pop the lids off of these. Let me fill these up here. Alright, since I know that this container is two ounces, uh, I'm going to do one ounce of antifreeze and one ounce of water, and so that's two tablespoons and two tablespoons. Now that one didn't fill it all the way, but I feel like it's pretty equal, so I'm just going to mix it up a little bit here. This test right here, instead of testing necessarily burst strength, because I can't accurately measure it to do a real scientific test, it's going to test how hard it gets. So I'll be able to tell how hard this gets versus how hard this gets. Alright, so it's been about 20 hours since I put these in here. Let's check the temperatures. The water is at 14 or 15 degrees. The antifreeze, oh that's interesting, is at 20. The mix is colder at 24. Looks like the glass jars I put in. So the antifreeze is at that 20-ish. And then the water Alright, I'm just going to take these out. Alright, so this is the test between pure water and pure antifreeze in a sealed glass container. It looks a little slushy. But the water definitely froze and expanded and pressed out the lid. It did not break the glass. Looks like it leaked a little there and popped the lid. Should probably get some eye protection for the next one. Alright, better safe than sorry. Let's open up this. Jesus! It just popped. Alright. So, using my scientific measuring spoon, I'm going to hit the water. Okay. And now the antifreeze. 
like a gel. The antifreeze works. It's slushy, but it works. So we have 50-50 antifreeze, just antifreeze, and H2O. You can tell which one expanded. Actually, you can tell the two that expanded if you're going... There we go. So antifreeze. That's still conformed to the shape of the container. 50-50 kind of bowed out the container a little bit. And the H2O totally expanded the container. As expected, the antifreeze is slushy. Good. Let's open the 50-50. This is the one I'm curious about. It is not rock hard. And it did not expand as much. As I, like, I can tell it's about at the same line where it was. So it didn't expand that much. So that's good, if you can't drain your tank all the way. And now for the water. Makes sense. Alright, what I've learned from this is that it is definitely preferable to get all of the water out of your system before using the pink stuff. So I'm going to get an air compressor fitting and blow out the lines. Um, and try to get most of the water out of the tank. But it is not the end of the world if it's up to 50-50 water because I can. it's still not frozen hard and it barely expanded at all. So it's still slushy. I hope this video has helped put people's minds at rest about the antifreeze. Alright, since I actually want to see if a mixture of this stuff will expand and uh, pop one of these jars like the water did. I'm gonna put as close as I can equal amounts of water and antifreeze into this uh, canning jar. 2.5 ounces is about 147 milliliters. I'm just gonna do 75 milliliters of water and 75 milliliters of antifreeze. It's not as full as I would like, so add more water just to get the surface tension up to the top of this container. There we go. Now for the lid. So this is roughly 50-50. Alright, now for science. I'm going to do one with half an ounce of antifreeze, one tablespoon, and the remaining 4.5 ounces of water. This is 0.5 ounces of antifreeze. And I'm going to put them in the coldest part of the freezer and see what happens. Alright, it's been about two days. It looks like it's about zero degrees, or negative one Fahrenheit. The two jars, so I'm going to take them out. The 50-50 didn't expand that much. I don't think it expanded at all. And the one that was half an ounce of antifreeze and four and a half ounces of water. That one expanded or it spilled over the side and froze on the outside of the container here. Let's open them up and look at their consistency. My scientific measuring tool here. And it's frozen salad. Alright. So this is still slushy and didn't expand that much. This one totally expanded. So so I would say as long as you're at least 50-50, even at zero degrees Fahrenheit, you should be good.